Chat GPT artificial intelligence. AI. AI. Because everyone's so hyped about this and, and we all know this. Those are the kinds of moves in business that we will see in the next five to 10 years that I find much more exciting and trying to figure out how to play in that space. My guess is the next hype cycle, the next bubble cycle in Silicon Valley will yes. absolutely be this generative AI business. In the field, like start building, come to open AI, whatever you just like get, like don't, don't miss out on this one. Like just get yeah. up to speed now. With the insane reception to the launch of ChatGPT, the AI industry is heating up and it is a perfect time for entrepreneurs to strike it rich. Just like in the dot-com, smartphone, and crypto bubbles of the past few decades, each created new generations of billionaires and AI is set to do the same. The best thing is that if you're watching this video right now, you have the perfect opportunity to make the most of this bubble and get rich. With hype comes risk and this AI boom will not last forever. So in this video, I'm gonna be explaining why AI is the next tech bubble, the best things you can be doing right now to make the most of this super cycle, where I see the millions being made in the coming years, and finally, some pitfalls all entrepreneurs should be aware of before launching their AI startup. Before we get started, my name's Liam Motley. I'm a self-made entrepreneur from New Zealand, now living in Dubai. Here on this channel, I create content for fellow entrepreneurs, sharing my thoughts on the biggest opportunities for them to get rich, making great, valuable businesses. If you don't wanna miss my next video, please head down down below subscribe and hit that bell if you want to be notified when it drops while you're down there please leave a like and if you've got any questions leave a comment i'll be replying to all comments as soon as i can now let's dive into how you can profit from the ai bubble before it's too late speculative bubbles are a byproduct of the capitalist system we live in today examples of speculative bubbles go back as far as the 1600s during the dutch golden age when bubbles of tulips skyrocketed ridiculous levels before promptly crashing back down to nothing more recently we've seen the dot-com smartphone and crypto bubbles form each creating a new generation of billionaires in their tracks. Mark Cuban is an entrepreneur notable for his appearances on Shark Tank, but beyond that, he was a hugely successful entrepreneur during the dot-com era. He exited on his company, Broadcast.com, for a billion dollars. What did the company do? Put the radio on the internet. As basic as that, he saw an opportunity and said, hey, we have this new platform called the internet, this new platform called the World Wide Web, which is actually what caused the dot-com bubble. All this money came in, VC attention, etc. And he said, hey, this is the opportunity I'm gonna jump on. And he wrote it, sold it to Yahoo for a billion dollars in Yahoo stock, hedged it and walked away with the rest. So what is a bubble and how do they form? Typically, bubbles form due to a new innovation that draws a ton of attention from VCs and entrepreneurs alike and causes a rush to the new opportunities. This is exactly what we're seeing right now with AI. The launch of ChatGPT recently has opened the eyes of entrepreneurs and VCs alike to this new rush of technology. This is nothing like people have ever seen and this is gonna change every industry we know. The most beautiful thing about bubbles for entrepreneurs like me and you is that it is the easiest time to make money. During this AI super cycle, money will be thrown at ridiculous businesses for any reason, while VCs and investors try to get in on these new ideas. This is a free for all for you to run in and grab any idea you want, slap the name AI in it, and then try to get funding for it. Now, obviously we wanna try to build good businesses, but it's, it's a, a metaphor for just how easy things will be in this compared to times previously, where there was not much attention on AI. So if you wanna be the Mark Cuban of our generation, you need to be looking around and trying to find the next AI business that you're gonna get into and launch your startup now. But what's the best way to get amongst it? How can you get exposure to the AI industry and the newest, hottest things happening right now? So we've identified a bubble, but how can you be making the most of things right now so that you can set yourself up and make money in this coming wave of new investment and opportunity? You need to be joining subreddits, discords, following people on Instagram, finding YouTubers that you really like, down below. To submerge yourself in this new wave of technology, you need to be joining subreddits and getting amongst discussions. Join OpenAI's Discord and start seeing who's there. Start making connections. You need to be in these places where the action is going on. YouTube is another great resource. Find YouTubers you like, find videos that are having hot takes on where they think the industry is going, what business opportunities they see. There are gonna be people that are incentivized on YouTube to be given away gold in exchange for your views. Furthermore, you need to be using tools like ChatGPT and Jasper daily. Get in there and start learning how to get the best out of these tools. There's gonna to be a new skill required by employers that is specialized and not many people are getting into right now, which is knowing how to use these chatbots, knowing how to interact with these models to get the best out of them for different tasks. Doing things like pasting in a ton of information and using that to pre-train the model in some way. Like these are the things you need to be aware of. You need to get so in depth and understand the communities around it, the actors, what's going on and how to get the most out of these models right now in their, in their beta forms especially. The real value is finding non-obvious sources of data 
that feed it. So it's all about training. You need to be getting amongst it right now and figuring out who are the people I should be listening to, where are the sources of information, who can I get in touch with and network with, and how can I be getting the most out of these models? So you need to get amongst it, and if you're not gonna do it, someone else will. How can you be an entrepreneur in the space and not be familiar with these tools, regularly watching content on it, and being in touch with the communities? Now we've identified the bubble, and you've got amongst it, What's next? What I believe will be the low-hanging fruit for entrepreneurs getting into the AI revolution will be looking at SaaS businesses, which everywhere right now, saturation is, is peaked on SaaS businesses, and looking, hey, how can this SaaS business be converted to a mass business, a model as a service business? We're going to replace SaaS with what I call mass, which is models as a service. A basic example of a e-commerce product finder, which we've seen over and over and over again. Where can you find data on how these products are selling? Say you're looking at uh, Amazon product review numbers, if you're looking at Alibaba or AliExpress reviews and sales, and use them to fine tune the model. If you can find a source of e-commerce sales data, for example, on AliExpress and seeing how many sales have happened for that product. If you can somehow pipe that into a model and train it and say, hey, these are the products that are selling right now, tell me the trends and allow people to interact with that model in a similar way to ChatGPT, then you can have a great business on your hands that leverages ChatGPT's ability, but you've fine tuned it to understand what products are selling right now. This is the kind of things you need to be thinking about. How are there, what services are you using right now that you could find a data source for, fine tune the model, fine tune ChatGPT to sell this as a, as a model and as a service to other people. This is what I believe is the lowest hanging fruit. There are gonna be so many opportunities right now. And if you start moving, if you start finding where this data is, if you can think enough to find, hey, there is some sources of data here that I can get in contact with. I'll email a site owner, I'll say, hey, would you be interested in, in using my machine learning uh, tools and, and my machine learning staff? to train a model and then we can work together on selling this as a model. So if you haven't figured out already, the data sources are the important thing. You need to be keeping a keen eye out for proprietary data sources. For those of you without a ton of capital required to perhaps acquire a website that owns a ton of data and use that all yourself, you can go in and offer to partner with these guys and say, hey, I know what I'm doing. I have machine learning engineers ready to go. If you want to partner on this, I'll show you how it's done. So finally, pitfalls to avoid as an entrepreneur moving into these model as a service businesses and moving into the AI revolution, hoping to create a valuable startup. Firstly, regulation is gonna affect many industries that are trying to be revolutionized by AI. This is most notably difficult in the areas that interact with the real world. For example, Tesla's self-driving cars, uh, yes, they're, they're doing a great job, but there is a huge gap between where they are and where they need to be, and that is because they're interacting with the real world. Using these models that are purely uh, contained within the digital realm and they're just giving you checks back, they're giving you answers back. That is much easier than trying to tackle anything that interacts with the real world. You should be trying to avoid those at all costs. Yes, there may be more valuable businesses, but I take it you're not already a billionaire. So <laughs> I would be going for businesses that are purely digital, that do not have an, a real world element that can affect their path to regulation. The purely digital tools will most likely not need to be regulated, but as soon as you're interacting in the real world, like Tesla is with self-driving cars, there was a ton of work to do to make it work in the first place, but also it's a question of, does this industry have regulatory pathways set up to allow you to get it to, to regulation? As the case is with Tesla self-driving cars, it, no one really knows whose job that is. However, in the health industry, there's clear pathways to FDA approval. So you need to be well aware of that before you get into any industry. Real key is where do you find proprietary sources of data that you can learn on top of? That's the real arms race. And finally, if you haven't got it from the name, bubbles eventually burst and everything comes crashing down. Thankfully, bubbles don't typically form around a completely rubbish bit of technology, but it would definitely go up and fall back down to a, a normal level. As we've seen with cryptocurrencies in the past year, if, if what goes up must eventually come down. But you need to make your money on the way up and we've just started. This AI has just started to kick off. You need to move fast. You need to do what I've been saying in this video, get amongst it, get in all these communities. Start watching more YouTube videos. Start your own YouTube channel. If you're doing all these things, there is no way in my mind that you will not find at least one low-hanging fruit that you can get started on. Time is on your side now, but it won't be forever. You need to move fast. So that about wraps it up. I hope you've got a lot out of this video and I hope you're keeping your eyes out now for areas that you can find data and start converting that data into a valuable, fine-tuned model to sell as a service. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. I'll be answering all comments. And I really hope you guys got a lot out of this video. If you like the kind of content I make on this channel and haven't already subscribed, please do so below and leave a like while you're at it. It really, really helps my channel grow. So my name is Liam Motley. Thank you so much for watching and best of luck to you as you navigate through this AI gold rush. I'll see you next time.